I am the ancient walls and gates of Jerusalem. I have stood sentinel through the ages of this great city of might. I have seen the tragedy and sorrow of lost conflicts and heard the shouts of victory and triumph. I have been witness to the stoning of prophets and, and the crowning of kings. Long I have waited for the day when heaven would send a deliverer to set the people free from their oppression and inspire the hearts and souls of the nation. Today I hear hosannas and cries of joy from the people. I see a procession that is different from others that have come before. The palm branches are waving high, signaling the arrival of a military hero. But this is no king crowned from violence. This is the Prince of Peace, whose government will rest on shoulders of justice and truth. This is the one of whom Isaiah wrote, Lift up your heads, ye mighty gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and let the King of glory come in. Yes, I can hear it in the whisper of the palms and the shouts of the multitudes. The Lord of hosts has come to comfort and redeem his people. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord.
I am the chalice, the grail of the mercy. I hold the wine for the Passover feast. I help the faithful celebrate their most sacred occasions. I am the cup of redemption, lifted high to celebrate the passing over of death and pestilence during the captivity of Egypt. Tonight I am prepared for this important feast. With careful ritual, I am placed on the table next to the loaves of unleavened bread and bitter herbs, ready for my role as the vessel of grace. As I receive the wine, I realize there is nothing or there is something different about this night. The rabbi who holds me now is praying ancient prayers, but teaching of new covenants. His words fill the room with hope and with wonder. Then suddenly there is a turning as a dark shadow falls across the upper room. The rabbi speaks now of betrayal and death. He searches the eyes of those gathered around the table. Suddenly one of the men steal away into the night, fleeing from his gaze. As the man's footsteps fade into the darkness, hope seems to return to the room. With a gentle hand, this one they call Jesus blesses the wine, lifts me to his lips, and changes the world.
I am the robe, the vestment of shame. I was once a beautiful garment of the highest quality. Woven from the finest purple, I was destined to adorn the back of a governor or king. At the most solemn ceremonies, I would have been called into service. At the sight of my royal colors, there would have been pageantry and pomp. At the festive sound of a trumpet, there would, they would have announced my owner, and the court would have bowed in reverence as we entered the room. All that has changed. Now I'm in its obscenity, the object of ridicule and scorn. My silken threads are ruined, stained with the tears and sweat of a condemned man. My splendor is made into a cruel joke as they drape me around his wounded body. They have beaten him with whips, and his wounds are pouring out a crimson stream of misery. Soon the cruel centurions will cast lots for me, like some souvenir of sorrow. Nothing can remove the stain I bear, so deep it has penetrated my very being. I am repulsive and ugly. I am beyond redemption, for I am covered by the blood of this one they call Jesus. Search me, Lord, and know me, Redeemer of my heart. Search me, know me, reveal my inmost part. Cover me with mercy, Lord, hold
I am the crown of thorns, the twisted vines of affliction. I once was a proud protector of the precious rose. I defended the blossom from injury, piercing all those who would do it harm. I was strong and feared by all who entered the garden. I served with faithfulness the most exquisite flowers of spring. Those who saw my master were filled with hope and wonder. Now I am a tool of torture, misshapen and wrapped into a crown. I am pressed into the flesh of a man who is being executed. Forced into place, I engrave my image into his brow, and his blood pours out at my cruel touch. Who is this one who is treated with such violence? What crime could he have been guilty of? How I long to touch my beloved rose again. My heart aches to know its graceful fragrance and to be part of the vine that once brought beauty to the world. I am lost without the rose. If only I could find my way back to the garden.
I am the cross, the weeping tree. I was once a mighty tree, bursting with life, planted beside peaceful waters. People rested in my shade, and children played upon my limbs. I was a blessing to the traveler and a home for singing birds. I brought forth fruit and whispered quietly when the wind moved through my branches in praise to my creator. Then I was cut down in my prime and fashioned into an instrument of death. Like the man who hangs in my embrace, I was stripped of my dignity. I stand twisted and dying, a loathsome object that all turn away from. My arms grow weary with the pitiful fruit I am forced to hold. The iron nails have splintered my spirit, and the moans of a dying man have replaced the calls of the nightingale. I am dying, and soon I will be forgotten. If only I had been able to meet a carpenter who could have made me into something beautiful, something that could have honored my creator. Who will ever remember a rugged cross? <laughs>